Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you different ways that you can attach or insert objects such as photographs, videos, or documents. So on the screen, I've got a simple database, a table with address details in it. I've just opened that so you can see it. What I'm gonna do is go into design and add a couple of columns, three columns altogether, and you can see how you can do this and the differences design so the first one is i'll just call it attachment i want to use the attachment field spell that right and attachment is this one so that's it so you can add multiple documents or pictures to this field so i just save that and go and show you how that works you just get a little symbol there you double click on it and it opens up this box and they can click on add and then you can actually add whatever you want so I'll just add this word document it's a picture of a word document and open that and then that's going to be in there then you just keep adding things so this could be like certificates open like so so you've got a couple of certificates there click OK and it just says number two there's two items in there now this little paper clip thing there at the top you can't actually double click to change that name as you can with these. So you need to go into design if you don't like that symbol. And down in properties for this, you've got to put um, the title that you want to be in the column heading. So save that, have a look. And then it says attachment instead of the little paper clip. So that's the first thing you can do. Now the next one I want to do is I want to actually insert the object. So that's hanging off. If you like, that's still on your computer. This next one, if I go back into design and I'll just call it um, video, I'll get a video. I want to select um, object linking and embedding, object linking and embedding, that option. Again, I'll save the table, go back over there. So now um, have a look, that's that one. Now for this one, you need to just right click in there and then you can insert the object. And you've got two options. You can insert the entire object or you can insert a link to it. So first one, create from file. I'll browse for a file. And this one, I'll do a video. That's a video. It's a very old one. Click on that and then click OK. And I'm just going to put a tick to link that. It's not going to change, but it might change. That means it's not sitting in the database. If I didn't put a link on it, the whole thing would be sitting in the database, but like a copy of it, which then makes the database a lot bigger. Click OK to that. Just comes in with package. If I double click on it, it's going to ask me, do I want to open it? You can take that tick off so it doesn't always keep asking you. Click open, and then that video will play in full screen, which I'll st stop that. So that's that one. So that's the package. And I'll just do another one so I can get a like a document so you can see insert object. And this time I'll get from file, same thing, browse. It's in the photograph area. So in, in here, have I got an Excel spreadsheet? No, I've just got Word documents. Is that Word document? They're all pictures in here. But I'll just snip to a different folder and grab an Excel file. And then you can see how that one works. I'll go for that one. And again, I'm going to link it so it doesn't sit in the database. Click OK. And then you'll see it come in eventually once it finds it. And then it'll just stop in there. And that will be like a shortcut to it. I'll just be able to use the database as a reference point and point to it. There it goes. So if I just double click on that, it should open up Excel. Well, it will open up Excel and show you that file. Because it's just a pointer as if it was on your desktop. And there it is, that's the Excel file. So it's sitting in the Access database. You just use an access as a storage mechanism. Close that one off. Don't save it. Don't want to change anything. So that's what that is. That's the object linking and embedding. And uh, I didn't tick the link option, but I could have done. Uh, I didn't tick the, uh, sorry, I did tick the link option. I did just embed the whole thing, but I could have done. Now, the reason you might want to do that is if you uh, are sending this to different people, um, that object obviously won't go with it if it's just linked. It's still sitting on your server somewhere or your your OneDrive somewhere. So it's up to you how you want to do that. But if that's not going anywhere, it's just staying on your 
system you can it's probably best practice to just do the links now the last one I want to do is to do with photographs uh, when you create forms in access sometimes the photographs are all different sizes or they don't look great this is what you could do and it's just a bit more involved what I need to do is create a text field so I'll just do it through here because I've got these options here as well uh, you didn't have the OLE object option in this list which is a bit weird everything else is I'll go for short text and I'll just call this um, photo so I'll call it photo now what I want to paste in there is the file path of the photos which I've got here so photos that's the file path and I want that file there now you're gonna have to do this for each person and this cannot move these cannot move I've put these on the desktop so you can just see them I'm gonna come and get this one called Dave which is actually me a million years ago that's also me not so far ago and that's me as well but I'll go for Dave now that's the path so I'm copying that path I'm coming back into access and I'm just gonna paste that in there but I have to refer to the photo so I'm going backslash type in Dave dot JPEG it's a JPEG so it's just a file path reference and then I'd have to do the second one I'll do I will do another one if I just go back into have a look so we've got a Lana JPEG I'll do that one so paste it in again backslash Alana dot JPEG like that now why am I doing that because I can't double click on that to get to that that's not a click a clickable link it's just a file path that I'm going to use in a form so if I just create a form uh, form design and I'll get the form to look at that table address details and then I'll go to the existing fields so there's all the fields that's the attachment how that sits there look and the video and the photo field now you could bring I could bring some of these on but if I will bring I'll just bring the first three four things on just down to there and just drag them on so we've got some information on the form and then I want a picture and then I can bring the rest of it on if I wanted to but I'm not going to so up on the controls area here if I drop that down this is the option I want this one image now if I just draw that big rectangle comes up with where's the image insert picture I'm just going to cancel that off because what I want to do is go to the property sheet for this box and tell it that its control source is the photo field photo field so that's now going to look at the photo field and if I just have a quick look at this form there's me and if I go into the next record it should be Alana there you go and it's nice and sitting there it isn't, there's no boxes around it it's just within that frame and that's how you can do that so if I go back to the table so we've looked at doing an attachment with where you've got lots of different types of document that you can attach to a particular record we've looked at adding packages video or documents through the OLE object field linking embedding object linking embedding field and then this last one we've just done a text field with a file path to where the photos are that you want to use so that we can then create a form and get those photos to appear so that's all I want to talk about in this little video so hopefully it's been of use thank you for your time I'll catch you in the next one